Black Acre Ranch on the next week. Of course, we have 0% chance of rain and it's cloudy and a bunch of rainstorms over there. So, obviously we can't trust the, the Texas weather. Anyway, we are doing this fence. We're getting the wire done, this wire mesh. We have done the far line and we've done this line, tying them off at the end. So we wanted to show you a few of the things that we're tying off or how we're doing it. Um, as we go through the rest of it, we still have the rest of the half over on the far side to go. Um, the kids are already taking off the little knots. We're cutting the fence and moving. So when we come in closer, on this woven wire fence, this top line is like a 14, it's not 14 gauge, just like a 9 gauge. This sucker is obviously stout. This sucker's got some girth. So bending this wire is a pain in the butt. I, I just, I can't do it, whatever. So we are supposed to do a termination knot like we see down here. We go up and under, then back through, and then wrap it around, and then do some tight knots. These are a little too spaced, to be honest with you. This wire is easy enough to deal with. This top wire, oh my gosh, it's a nightmare. The hardest ones are the bottom. And if I can give you one advice, start at the bottom and work your way up. If anything, just so you have slack to move this around. Like I said, the top and bottom wires are thick. Any dude who can do this in a termination knot freehand in like 30 seconds, hats off to that dude. I just don't do it. I just bloody myself. We've got town which he's like donating blood every time he touches a fence. So um, we, we tried doing it as much as possible. After we got the fence up, just because we didn't do very good termination knots, we decided to just nail it top and bottom to go ahead and, and strengthen it to some extent. So otherwise you look down the line you can see our masterfulness. Teeth posts are pretty straight. They're not quite aligned with the post, but we routed on the inside to absorb the pressure. Charlotte's already gone around and done some of those clips. And we can show you a couple of those here. They're just simple enough. She's only done three so far. We've got a few more to do on each of these. So we've done top, about a middle, and down towards the bottom. But otherwise, it's, it's pretty good. We're going to show you a couple of these things in action as we get further along. Right now we're undoing all of the, the ends so that we have the extra wire. The, uh, the little knots here, let's go see it. do is get enough line that you can wrap it around the post and so we have to come through with the bolt cutters and snip between every one of these and then take all of these little knots off they're not the simplest to do as rookies we're getting the hang of it but this is where Talmadge likes to donate his blood um, and so we're just giving ourselves a couple feet here but this is the next step put it on this post and then we're gonna stretch it and put it on the far post so we'll show you some video of us doing it. Okay, we're halfway through this woven wire. We did the bottom portion, if you want to zoom in here over. This is, again, pretty bad. We did somewhat of a termination knot. We came up and under, came back down through, and this just bites. This is horrible here. We did it again here. We came up and under, back over, and back through. Better. We're going to come back and trim all these because I'm not man enough to snap these off like every other professional. But as you go up, you can kind of see that we're doing better. These things are getting tighter compared to this horrible thing down here. So we are getting better, but eventually we're just going to put a staple back here to kind of hold this one, but I'm not going to sweat that stuff. So we're going to show you kind of what we're doing. If you want to swing around here, you've got the line that you want to ideally keep somewhat straight up the post, whether it's here or here. You can see these are the vertical lines, just so you know your fence is lined up so we're just going to be making sure that we try and keep that straight so let's show you a termination knot that we do we are no, by no means professional so we're going to come up and under we send it back through 
and then when we do that, we're gonna give it a little snug and kind of wrap it. That gives it a kink, and then Nathan's gonna stick it back through between this line and the wood. And when we do that, he'll grab the underside of it. This is never as easy as it looks on TV or YouTube, I'll tell you that. You go underneath it then, and then come back through over the top. And we're gonna wrap it up underneath this guy. And it gets easier at this point. Not the easiest, but it is easier to try and wrap it around. Three, four good tight loops. And then we'll go ahead and trim that off with bolt cutters. Here's the next one. We'll do the same thing. We'll pull it up and under. Go back over, pull it down to tighten it up. And then we're gonna go back between the post and the wire. Sometimes if you need, just grab some pliers. goes underneath your own wire, come back over the next one, and loop it through. See, that one looks real sexy. That girl's tight. Yeah, see, there is, there is hope for me yet. Anyway, we're going to finish up the rest of these. I don't know if I want to show you us manhandling this top one, because I think it works us more than we work it. But we'll show us next, strapping everything together as we tighten it up at the end. We'll show us using the come along and our little board we made. All right, so we've got the wood Breezy takes a sandwich. And so we're hooking up the chain. Depends on how long the fence is. Good answer. He's pulling the board. Okay, oh. Pulls the fence. Oh my gosh! I shot my gonad. <laughs> Staple doesn't like you. Just a cup. <laughs> he's, he's afraid of it now. Do you see how he's hitting it? <laughs> he gets as far away as possible. <laughs> Stay there. All right, so we're getting ready to squish the fence. There's tools you can buy at the store, but we had some wood handy, so we just drilled our own holes, put our own bolts through it with our own washers to create our own little. Um, no what's this called? It doesn't work. The bottom fits. <laughs> so then we can hook it up to the strainer. The strainer. Come along. Come along. Hook it up to the come along. <laughs> After we use our big logging chain. I'm telling you, there's a lot of words we're learning here that I don't use in my normal everyday life. Is the T post, what's it called? Now you're here. Clip. Okay, here's our T post clip. So we're going to put it on to secure the fence. And so first you're going to get this first little part around it and kind of bend it like it slides around. Come over here. And you see, it's just kind of poking up and that's where you take your screwdriver and you twirl it around. Now if you twirl the screwdriver, it's stuck up under there. But this side's not secure, so we take the pliers and we sandwich them and we make it tight. So now it's tight. But when we start, we always start at the bottom, but it's so hard to see a good video of that, so we got that one in. So you have to hold it down tight we start the clip up first, and then we're able to hook it back around. The wires here are closer together than up here, so we don't have as much room to work either. So it's definitely tricky um, for the bottom ones. And then sometimes the clip itself is a little loose, so they're suggesting, like this guy, we had to kind of re-wrench him a little bit tighter to get him to stay on. So just work the best you can. Um, it did take us one full fence line to get 
to get the hang of it, but I think we're on a roll now. And when we're securing it, there's all these grooves. It won't even go on really if you don't have that fence in between the grooves. Um, and then that's how it stays nice and tight. All right guys, we are wrapping it up. We've got most of the fence actually done. We have got a bunch of T-posts, which are in, and we've got all these wire lines done. So all this line, except for where the girls are at, we don't have that. But we have everything else already done. So we need a couple more bags of clips, so that way we could actually put them all in um, and secure them all down, but we've got enough to kind of get it going so far. But I wanted to give you guys an update on what I kind of found out about these slabs. Now, I've kind of mentioned this before. This was used as a summer camp um, kind of here in East Texas. So they used to have upwards of 300 boys that would come here. They had this building, which is the sanctuary or chapel. This has the barn dominium apartments. And then this is the pavilion where they have a stage. They have a stage in both. But then on either side of this compound, they have these slabs. Um, and these are three slabs end to end. And they are huge. They used to have sleeping quarters. And so you can see from the ground here, this was the bathroom. And they just took a bulldozer or some device and just sheared this stuff right off. These were actually pretty nice buildings. I had a mulcher guy come out and tell me just about how much it would cost to mulch. And he had done this before six years ago. And he remembered that those buildings that were here. And when he saw that they were ripped out, he was none too pleased, not impressed, um, and, and just kind of surprised that they would do that. They were actually some really nice buildings, but, um, Gosh, what a douche, you know, I don't know who or why they decided to take it out. But anyway, they did. So future plans are we're going to be building buildings on each slab. My hard part is I just don't know what to put on them, right? So if you have any suggestions, I have six 3,000 square foot concrete slabs. And I don't know what to do with it. Um, I've got the... 7,200 square foot building here, which is going to make a garage and possibly a house. The pavilion, which was going to be a pavilion. I don't know. So, um, yeah, that's where we're going right now. So, I wanted to go ahead and sign off. We'll show you some things of stuff that's been going on. Little Bug actually has been riding her bike. She has been learning how to do it all on her own. And so we brought her bike and she's scooting around here somewhere um but she's doing actually a really good job so anyway we are going to probably sign off for now catch you guys later next week anyway keep updated keep watching we will catch you next week on black acre ranch see ya